first bit of this vlog might be uh, shot with no audio, which I just realized, and I kind of narrowed the problem down to this cord. So whenever this cord that I usually use for my mic is plugged in, there's just absolutely no audio. So I luckily I had another cord that seems to be working for now, but I think this cord is shot. It's done its, it's, done its time. It has earned its right. But uh, yeah, sorry about the no audio. Didn't really realize it until I went back to kind of look over the footage. So. Onward. Another day with the ARV 106. Squad, this chair is pretty old school. It's literally just a two seater with like the single post in the middle. There's no lift bar or anything like that. And the way that this chair is held on, it just looks like it's a little piece of metal that was welded on, you know, at the inception. Like there's no place I can put my bag. So I have to, it's a very compromising chair, super cool feeling, but I'm literally wrapped around. I already don't like heights. I'm not a huge heights person in general. Uh, and then trying to film off this chair, I think is pretty tough, but uh, I don't think I've been on a chair like this ever really. Well, for nothing else, it is a beautiful mountain, beautiful area. I mean, look at these, look at these monoliths that you are surrounded by. Thin cover. Very sharky. Lots of little rocks. But, you know. You know. Look at this nice firm mogul field. Just taking it all. It's actually kind of soft. Adrenaline. Open. Let's go see what this is. I have a feeling that's a cliff below me. Let's take this gingerly. Is a cliff. It would be nice if there's like a marker like cliff, but you know what? They just do it differently out here, I think. All right, looks like we have an escape route. <laughs> what were we on top of? Oh. Honestly, if you fell off of it, you probably would be okay, at least that part. That, eh, you'd survive. Feels good. I took yesterday off to edit and whatnot, took a shower. Ugh. Snake dance. Let's go dance with the snakes. Still fresh corduroy, like 
to get cooking. been a little bit different conditions than I am typically used to but it's honestly pretty fun it's challenging um, it seems like some of the stuff that's been in the sun has now really turned into like some slush spring skiing stuff which is nice but I also think that is why this place I didn't say the I word but the lifties said it it's uh, just extremely icy uh, lately but I, it would make sense that it's all you know, thawing out during the day and then refreezes overnight and whatnot. So it kind of depending on where you're at, you can kind of get a mixed bag of, of things combined with a little bit lower coverage. So it's just kind of a day of heads up skiing and just more or less enjoying the views and a beautiful bluebird day in the mountains. That's kind of what it's all about in the first place. So, but you know, as is with just about any resort that I've been to, I feel like on a pow day, this place would be pretty pretty popping um, and exciting and, and a lot of fun. It's kind of interesting that like you don't really, you don't really see this as you're driving up to the mountain. It's it's kind of all nestled back, um, you know, back a little bit and just has a really old school type of feeling and vibe to it. This like almost old Swiss chalet sort of, sort of vibe if that's a thing, but uh, stoke.
Thank you. Skiing is just a medium that I use to enjoy the mountains in their winter time. Um, so the skiing, it, you know, it is what it is, but to be up here and see this, uh, these sort of views is just unbelievable. So highly recommend just for the views themselves. This is the first time in a while where I feel like I ski just to like ski and enjoy the mountains. Um, I'm kind of surprised with how much vertical I ended up getting. Surprisingly, I skied some of the most vertical I have in a long time in a day. It was out there for a pretty long time. So even though it wasn't the most exciting skiing and runs, I feel like I'm just out there just to make turns and enjoy the views and just enjoy being on skis and that feeling of, of skiing that we all know and love. So apologize if it wasn't anything crazy but not every day is going to be uh you know not every song on the album is an absolute banger put it that way but it is a uh, it is another day and honestly sometimes the internet can make you feel great and other times you wake up and the internet can make you feel like crap and that was uh the case today but uh i ended up talking to my financial like guy who kind of invests all my money and takes care of like my retirement stuff who is a guy that i grew up with and he just uh He's a very good person to talk about that stuff because he's a very tenacious, relentless sort of guy with a winning mindset. And he uh, kind of made me feel better. But this was at the the end of the day, stuff like that. So I don't know why I'm sharing it with you guys. But just, uh, you know, happen, happens to everyone. But it's kind of how you fight through it. Like the long-term plan is to head to Stevens Pass. But because of where it's situated, we actually have to go back west towards Seattle, kind of through the outskirts of Seattle, and then back around. It looks like on a map it's almost directly due north of where I am now, but because of the winter roads, you have to drive around. So it is, I don't know, two and a half hours from where I'm at. So the plan is to head back, back around, see where we get to tonight, and then ultimately head to Stevens. So I think we're all good to go. Um, you know, taking care of battery things like right away is a, is a big thing I do. Get my batteries charging up, use that free power while I'm driving. And we should be uh, should be on our way to Seattle. The journey north continues. Mm -hmm. 